Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new Love Struck Let's Play. So I wanted to start this off so calm and chill, but um, my sim has just made a fire. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot. <laughs> wow, like what an entrance to a new Let's Play. Um, okay. I haven't even- oh my god. I haven't even introduced you guys to the sim yet and she's going to fucking die. <laughs> Wow, cozy channel who? Like, actually, are you? This is so loud, like beyond. Oh my gosh, we've we've gained a sentiment. You're my hero. Wow. Oh my god. So, <laughs> this is our sim, Alira. Um, she's not very safe in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have her hop in the shower, and then I'm gonna do a proper introduction for you guys. <laughs> This is absolutely insane. We've burnt down the kitchen. We're gonna replace these things and I'm gonna let her shower and then introduce you guys to her properly. Actually, while she showers, I thought I would show you guys where she's living. So this is one of the builds that come with the new world and I thought it was so cute. I really did. It's not starter home price. We have so much going on, <laughs> but you know, it wasn't too bad. I just went ahead and did free real estate and then I kind of redid some stuff. I gave her a barbecue. We have a picnic table. We have the new little, you know, uh, blanket. So that's going to be cute. And yeah, as far as everything else, I didn't change anything. The inside, I did change a lot. Let me go ahead and turn the lights on for you guys. We're just going to go ahead and turn on all lights. But yeah, this place did look different. I did change some things up and you know, I just wanted to make it more Alira vibes. Her last name is Marigold, Alira Marigold. I just love the sound of that. But yeah, we're, we're going to go into creative sim and everything. Here's the kitchen. I changed a little bit, but not too much. And then her bedroom, I changed a lot. I changed the wall wallpaper and everything. I am obsessed. She has the heart bed. And then I gave her the new shower and everything. So with that, let's jump into creatism. What's crazy is I decided to have her cook before starting the episode. And I was like, I bet you this girl is going to start a fire. She's never cooked before. I had her do, you know, actual food that she needs to use the stove for. And then that happened. <laughs> I literally predicted it. So anyways, here is what Alira looks like. I am absolutely in love with her. I actually created her the same day that I'm filming this, which is a shock to me because usually I will go ahead and create the sim way in advance. But I've been busy with Love Struck stuff on my main channel and I really wanted to get this Let's Play going for you guys as soon as possible after release. So I was like, okay, we're just doing this. So Alira has the Paragon partner. We're gonna get into her little story here. Her story definitely goes along with her aspiration and traits. And then she is romantically reserved. She is generous, but then she's also nosy. So we're gonna get into that in just a moment. But first I wanna show you guys her outfits and everything. We actually do have to change a few more things. I wanted to do it with you guys, but here is her everyday wear. I absolutely love how she looks. I wanted to give her like a different look. I wanted to use all love struck stuff. So yeah, everything you're seeing is with the pack, her accessories, her hair, the top, the bottom, her nails, her shoes. And then we have her uh, formal wear. This hair is not from love struck, but the dress is the shoes. Once again, her accessories. I'm in love with her. <laughs> and then here is her athletic wear the bun is from love struck and so is this top and then the sleepwear also from love struck i thought this looked so so good on her and then her party wear also all love struck everything just comes together with this pack so well like i thoroughly enjoy the creative sim i really do and then we have her swimwear nothing from love struck except the bun <laughs> and then we have her hot weather the top is actually from love struck which looks more like a sleep top at first, but then I saw some other swatches and I was like, oh, that works for like a cute summer crop. And then we have her cold weather. So I just love her vibe. I just feel like she's very fashionable and she just has all the awesome trendy pieces in her closet. So going into her storyline, first of all, to get into it, let's go to her romantic boundaries. We are going to be changing this. So this sim feels jealous if any romantic partner engages in non-physical romance with other sims. We're going to do no. This sim feels jealous if any romantic partner engages in physical romance, excluding woohoo with other sims. No. <laughs> this sim feels jealous if any romantic partner engages in woohoo with other sims. No. And then this sim's jealousy triggers can change by talking about it with other sims. I think we 
may keep that on yes just to kind of see but clearly from this you guys can see she wants to be in a polyamorous relationship so that is why i gave her the paragon partner we're going to be exploring this for the very first time so alira has never been in a polyamorous relationship before so it's something new for her but she's always been in monogamous relationships and it just has never been for her so she recently moved into the house she's in now and she is just ready to go all in with what she wants in her romantic life so she is romantically reserved which oh she's striking a pose <laughs> which these sims often tread carefully in the realm of love preferring to take their time and build solid emotional connections before jumping headfirst into romance so she's not wanting to just you know be with anyone she does want multiple partners, but she wants to be all in. She wants it to be partners who are going to be long term with her that she can live with and have a happy family with. And, you know, she doesn't just want to fall in love with anyone. I would expect her to be a love bug, but no. And then she's generous. She is such a generous sim. She has so much love to give. Hence also why I just feel like when she was in a relationship with one sim, she always felt like she wanted to give more love to more sims. She is just like overwhelmed with the amount of love she wants to give. <laughs> and then she's nosy though. I don't know if this will be in her favor if she gets into a polyamorous relationship or if this will cause drama in her relationships. I don't know. Because on one hand, she has lots of people to gossip with. If she's dating multiple people, they can all just kind of gossip and you know, or it's going to create a situation where she's gossiping about her other partners to her other partners, if that makes sense. So we're going to kind of see that was kind of my idea behind that. So her dream has always been to be a romance consultant. She, again, she's all about love. She has so much advice she wants to give. She's been in monogamous relationships, like I said, so she has advice for that. And then she's going to be diving into Polly. And so she's going to have advice for that. And I just, yeah, she wants to just be a little matchmaker for sims and wants everyone to find love so that is a little bit about alira she honestly sells a lot to discover with herself so i'm excited to kind of explore that with you guys i really wanted to grow her personality with you all okay so of course because of the fire she is literally terrified right now so hopefully we can get her feeling better we are definitely going to make sure she doesn't cook again <laughs> so i'm going to have her throw this away and we're going to have her clean the floor and then she's going to have breakfast but this time we're going to do fruit salad because i really think Girl, you gotta get some cooking skill before we try to use the oven again. Uh, we're, yeah, we're definitely not gonna do that. But I love her bathroom. It didn't look like this originally. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with these new shower doors that we got. Like, thank you, Sims team. I love it. <laughs> she also went all out with her mirror, although I thought it looked a little odd in here. I was like, no. Alira would have this type of mirror for sure. Okay, so here she is making her fruit salad. She is so ready to join the romance consultant career and get on Cupid's Corner. So we're going to have her join a career after she is done having her breakfast. Oh, I guess she's doing it now. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, romance consultant. Are you a natural at interpreting feelings, a sucker for romance, and interested in helping others find their happily ever after? You may be destined to become a romance consultant. Career branches, relationship counselor, and matchmaker. I feel like she really wants to be a matchmaker. So I'm excited for when she gets to that point. $20 an hour, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then she's gonna be working every day besides the weekends. So that sounds perfect to me. Uh, I I don't know if she'll actually go to work tomorrow. At least I hope so. So we do have a work assignment. Watch reality dating TV channel for two hours. Okay. I mean, that's perfect for her right now. She can eat some breakfast and watch some reality TV. Tell me why my Sims game just keeps making me want to watch some reality TV. I love me a good reality TV show, but I haven't been watching any lately. I've just been hooked on Grey's for like ever. I'm like way far in the seasons now, but like it's literally that show feels never ending so it's taking me forever to get through it <laughs> but i really want to start a second show but i have this bad habit i'll just like have one show that i watch every single night bed but you know Grey's is never ending so i'm like okay it's taking forever to get through i should watch a reality tv show too because it's just you know usually every couple months i'll watch a new one and now i haven't in like months and months <laughs> because of Grey's. so let's go ahead and uh watch channel 
and we're gonna go ahead and watch reality dating show okay so we'll go ahead and throw this away for her let's also go ahead and set the sink type to kitchen here and then up here we'll set this one to bathroom just so she's not going all around you know all the craziness <laughs> Okay, so she's watching her show. We have to do this for at least a couple hours. Hopefully she can calm down. This is going to go away soon, so that's good. And then we'll go ahead and head on to Cupid's Corner. So open Cupid's Corner, and we're going to do some scrolling. I like that we can do this while she's just chilling. Also, I really like how this picture is, but I want to change it to one. Okay, we'll do that soon. But first, let's go ahead and go to matches. I'm gonna turn my D shade off. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't set her sexuality. Okay, we should definitely do that. But at the same time, I'm like, do we let her figure it out? And then what do you guys think her sexuality would be? I actually haven't put much thought into that because I'm open to anything. And if she's gonna be poly, I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like maybe she'll end up with a guy and a girl. I don't know. Okay, let's see. No. Oh, okay, this is Elise. She looks cute. Okay, so I guess guys and girls then. <laughs> that's what we're gonna go for and we'll just kind of see. I don't know if many of these people... Ooh, okay. I like how... Oh, I didn't show you guys her turn-ons and turn-offs. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you guys that. But being neat is a turn-on for Alira. So let's go ahead and like you. So we can refresh the matches now. So let's do that and see what else we can find or who else we can find. Okay, I'm gonna skip out on him only because he also popped up in my playthrough on my main channel so yeah Ooh. okay yeah and no <laughs> no Ooh. this is from the gallery i don't know if you'd be her type though i really you know i'm trying to like picture my sims type when it comes to this okay so we have some sims here we have three sims that we can kind of like get to know so i'm gonna leave that for now but let's go ahead and take a picture which she may just sit here and watch first which is completely fine um so she can kind of get that down oh Okay. <laughs> Aw, cute. Okay, but what kind of photo do we want? So this is based off photography. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. These are a little iffy. Oh, I like that one. I want a good one. Honestly, we should have went outside probably. Should we have done that? Okay, you know what? We'll keep what's there for now. I'm just not going to worry about it. See, this looks good, but then I don't know about all her poses. So, wait, this didn't even, we haven't even watched for an hour yet. Ooh, this is actually getting her skill up, her romance skill, which I really like that. Okay, we have one hour down, so I'm just going to speed through until she completes this. There we go. Okay, so we got 80 simoleons for that. Oh, no. I really think she'd be romantically reserved. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Okay, girl, please don't fear pants. Let's go ahead and head to the bathroom. I don't know if we want to worry about that. We'll kind of see. I might just ignore that. But I I mean, we could go on a little like uh, kind of park date. You know, it's noon. It's beautiful outside. It's a little chilly, like it's fall time, but like it seems like it's nice weather. Also, can we take a minute? This part of the world, are you actually kidding me the only thing i don't know why that's in the pavement i don't like that <laughs> but like what i just love the way this area looks over here it just looks so gorgeous i just want to take so many pictures i love that there's all these taxis like look it's so pretty and then over here like this street is so nice there's also quite a few sims walking around which i like to see you know, it doesn't feel totally dead. Obviously, these are all fake houses. At least they look nice, but I wish they were real. <laughs> but yeah, quite a few Sims around, surprisingly enough. I don't know. It just, something about the cars parked out here is like reminding me of a custom save file. So I'm liking those vibes. We have like a parking lot over here. It's so pretty. Like look in here. Excuse me. We can toss a coin in there. Oh, it's so nice. It looks like a little neighborhood. If only. <laughs> if only it really was. Okay. Oh, and then she's actually living right across the street from this woohoo motel basically you can rent a room for slave or rent a room for woohoo and can i just say <laughs> that she's definitely going to be taking advantage of that a lot even though she lives right there you know there's going to be people she doesn't want to take back to the house and we're just gonna you know head in here so that's the plan for that but let's go ahead and head well 
Do we just leave her picture for now? I, I mean, it looks nice. Okay, yeah. Go on to here again, though. Open Cupid's Corner. Yeah, it does look nice. We're gonna keep that. I feel like it's also very Alira. So let's go to saved. And who do we want to go on a date with first? Maybe a girl? This one, like, it's a turn on for her. So maybe we asked to create a date. Oh, this is gonna be cute. But yeah, I will show you guys our turn ons and turn offs, but I just wanna get this date going first. Okay, so let's do a get to know you date, and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and be romantic and then funny, or no, friendly and funny. We could do star or cloud gaze because I wanna go somewhere outside. That reminds me though, I should have put that blanket in the inventory. And now if we're going on the date, we're not going to be able to pull it out. And well, for a get to know you date, maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they would just like sit down on a bench and do that. Yeah, I feel like let's save the little blanket for, you know, when she's a little more romantic with someone. Okay, so other than that, because it is just a get to know you date, I'm not really worried about much else. We'll go ahead and keep it just like that. And then let's see. Okay, yes, this is the park that I want to go to. So let's go ahead and begin this date. Okay, so the date has begun. Oh my God. Okay, that, that was lovely. Oh wait, they're cute though. I'm checking her out. We're going to do that. I don't know if that's a bad thing to do right away. Oh, charm. Oh, you're not comfortable for that yet. Oh, I love that. Okay, so friendly. We can go ahead and go to small talk and get to know. Generous lesson. Also, what was that other option I saw there? Uh, friendly. Romance consultant career. Oh. We're not going to mess around with that yet, but I think that will be some things we're going to have to do anyways. Okay, so we have to do small talk again. So small talk, let's also ask about day and then we can share some interests. This park is so pretty. Oh, tenderly embrace. Oh, that's so cute. We're not gonna do that yet because we literally just got here, but let's go to interest and discuss interest. Okay, so this park, look, yeah, see, we can just sit here and watch the sky. So, oh, her name, I didn't even notice. Esmeralda, that's so pretty. I love that. Like, it also goes good with Alira. Oh my god. Like, yeah, why are they, like, low-key so cute together? I don't know what's going on with them, though. Like, come on. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> I don't know why they're, like, not unpleasant aura. <gasps> are you evil? Oh no. That would be, like, a total turn off for her. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go now. Wait, small talk. Um, let's share my personality quirks. And then let's do the um share interests. Why is that not counting towards that? I don't know. So maybe we gotta do small talk again. Okay, small talk and get to know again. Oh, the sky or cloud gaze, we definitely gotta get on that. So let's also again interest ask about taste in music and then we'll come over here and we're gonna watch the sky with her oh okay you like alternative music oh wait stop it's so cute how adorable Aww. look at her face though oh look at how cute sorry i keep pausing but i'm just like trying to take in the moment i love it i mean it's way cuter when you're on the little um you know the carpet thing or whatever the blanket but this is really adorable Aww. let's just let them do their thing um we do need to flirt a little bit so let's go ahead and oh okay romance we'll go to flirtation and oh my god we can praise beauty and charm oh i love this okay let's do that and then we'll go ahead and do flirtation and then oh okay charm oh they just became good friends they're getting along really well okay we love this we absolutely do okay perfect so reveal desire okay don't do that <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and go to funny and we'll go to jokes and we'll do a inside joke and then we'll go ahead and go here and then oh no wait we want to be silly which is in here silly behavior make funny faces and then we can also do the impression so funny silly behavior do an impression talk about star or sky watching oh you can talk about it wait where's that at friendly pie menu category under small talk okay oh i didn't even notice that <laughs> so friendly and then a small talker does it pop up like after you talk about cloud shapes oh cute who, who are you just last month i 
What? I'm wealthy, very wealthy. Just last month, I bought Social Bunny and Cupid's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. What? I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? I know this could be something actually crazy, but I've never, like, this is new. And so I have to say something perhaps. Like, what? Wait, what was that? Lovable rascal. Uh, uh. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, what was that? Hey, that's great. I would send a limo, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. I'll be waiting at... What? Oh, I can only meet today. Very busy with many CEO things. Hope to see you. I mean, we're not leaving our date. What happens if you go there? Oh my gosh. We also have dreamy Tomorrow, sky gazing. A sim gets a true feeling of bliss after a romantic moment like this. Aw, uh, meeting a wealthy weirdo. Oh, what has Alira gotten into? A wealthy weirdo called and wants to meet in person. Person. the meeting will oh my god okay we do have 24 hours to go meet her but like what actually happens oh my goodness i'm kind of scared not gonna lie okay <laughs> we're gonna reveal desire now and i think that will count towards flirting and then um okay here and then deep thoughts and let's do deep conversation okay so they do have a little bit of a romance bar going so oh that actually didn't count towards that oh cute okay friendly there we go and then bestow empathy will that count i hope so yep okay so we can be affectionate let's do that Ooh, gesture of affection there's so many new options with this tree okay so affectionate express admiration oh okay so that's what that is cute honestly i think this has been a really great get to know you date there's about an hour left that didn't work for affection which is weird did she do it though huh. i'm unsure <laughs> i don't know honestly um we need to like tell a story and stuff but why isn't this working silly behavior make fun of pieces oh hi okay no so let's keep joining the date still and that's not supposed to be happening so much and i just don't get it like you're ruining everything bro <laughs> she's like i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> we're so close to getting that max and we're not going to because now everything is a disaster uh, we're, we're singing we're singing maybe it's affectionate here discuss dating standards let's do that okay stop talking everyone no oh my god oh my god awkward encounter because that girl is here no see that's not doing anything either that's weird see it is supposed to be under the romantic one romance affection reveal desire that's so weird okay there we go but see now we don't even have time <laughs> we did get a reward though i we were so close okay romantically reserved lesson alira is romantically reserved okay yeah, yeah okay you guys that is where we're gonna wrap up this first episode this will be like a full-blown let's play so you guys can look forward to that also we can wash the sky again which i kind of want to do because now it's nighttime i mean yeah i mean it's seven it's nighttime enough i think that'd be cute even though they're gonna be definitely going separate ways in just a minute i just think this would be a cute way to end it off look at them but with that i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys are looking forward to the next one and i will see you all in my next video bye guys